Today we're here at the Makapu'u campus of Hawaii Pacific University, and this is the home of the Oceanic Institute, state-of-the-art aquaculture facility, as well as the College of Natural and Computational Sciences, where we have our marine science programs, education, and research. Here in this particular room is the Oceanic Learning Center teaching lab, where we are able to support classroom teaching as well as outreach to the community and this is an unsurpassed opportunity for students to be able to step right out into the ocean, collect samples, see science in action, and be able to analyze that science here in this building. Hi, I'm Brenda Jensen. I'm the Dean of the College of Natural and Computational Sciences here at Hawaii Pacific University. The Oceanic Institute provides the broodstock of Pacific white shrimp that is then shipped across the globe to provide disease-free shrimp as those broodstock are able to then populate the shrimp ponds that are feeding many, many people in many parts of the globe. The Oceanic Institute Fin Fish program has focused on the yellow tang of late and over the last decade has a major accomplishment and contribution to sustainability, which is to close the life cycle of the yellow tang. Students are drawn to Hawaii and this area in particular because we are at ground zero for so many of today's important issues that have to do with the ocean. That includes climate change, that includes plastic marine debris. We are very much at the doorstep of the North Pacific garbage patch and so students have the ability to come and participate in a partnership and a center that we have developed, the Center for Marine Debris Research. We allow them opportunity to participate in research regarding plastic marine debris, the growing issue. We have researchers that are exploring the bottom of the ocean, discovering on a near daily basis evidence of new viruses and new microbes that have never been characterized before. Here we teach the hands-on and we teach the research and we teach the scientific methods but this has application to so many different careers within sustainability. Students may leave us and go on into graduate school or professional school, and they may become professors themselves as one area to go into to impact sustainability. But they might also decide that what they really want to do is to influence policy and influence people. And so there are careers that are in government, in policy, in the nonprofit sector and even law school that could be avenues for them to be able to take what they know about science and be able to make a difference in their society. Brought to you by Hawaii Pacific University.